Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, I'll go ahead and introduce grid sources in PointWise. So what is a grid source? Well, a source is an object in PointWise that has a set of attributes, a spacing and a decay value, and is used to provide off-body volumetric refinement for unstructured blocks. Let's go ahead and demonstrate how to create sources and their effect on an unstructured block. So here we are in PointWise. I have an aircraft surface mesh. In one area where I would like some additional off-body volumetric refinement is downstream of each wingtip to provide resolution to capture and propagate tip vortices. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a cylindrical source downstream of one of the wingtips. I'll go ahead and select a point, select another point to create my base shape, and then go ahead and start creating the 3D shape. And you'll notice that it is piercing the surface mesh and sources can do that. They simply just refine the isotropic portion of our unstructured block. I'll go ahead and unlock the top and flare that out a little bit. And there is my source. So I'll go ahead and accept that. And now if I click the source, I can go to grid sources and I can change the spacing and decay values at either end of this source. And once that's done, I'll go ahead and accept that and click OK. And at this point, the block is now aware that there is a source in its vicinity. And if the block is initialized, we'll inherit the attributes of that source and will be refined in its vicinity. So let's go ahead and take a cut through the volume mesh so you can see the effect that it had on the sizing field of the resulting volume. So what we're looking at now is an examination of cell volume. And you can clearly see the effect that these sources have on the volume of those elements in their vicinity. There's additional refinement around each of the sources as well as the aircraft itself, and then it transitions to the larger size field outside of that region. And that is an introduction to grid sources. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.